In the tutorial Family History 102A, we found Johnny Jossets, whose legal name we discovered was Stephen John Jossets. We found a general birth year, but no specific birth date. So in this tutorial, we try to find an actual birth certificate or some type of document with a solid birth date and come up with nothing. But I show you different ways of verifying his relationship to our family through other documentation. We can search under Stephen John Jossets. And we know that he was born around 1903. So let's put 1902 to 1903 and see what we come up with. And we could put that he was born in California, but we really don't know that. So let's just leave it at that. We can look and see if his actual birth date is listed in a different marriage index because every city has its own way of listing information. No birth information at all on this one. And apparently Las Vegas doesn't care when the person was born. So actually I just needed to look down a little bit further and see that there's a birth in 1903 in Illinois. The father is listed as Albert Jossets and the mother is listed as Thelma Jossets. So let's click on this. This information is taken from a census. And the great thing about a census is that it helps give you a general idea of birth year, but it also gives you other family relations. So now I see Johnny and his father, Albert, and I find out what his mother's name is. I don't know if I said it before, but I'll say it now and I'll keep saying it. You need to check the actual document because writing is really tricky and sometimes an indexer is going to interpret something differently. Stephen Jossets listed as 37 years old divorced, which is accurate because by then he and Granny were divorced. This census is from 1940. Now we have Johnny's general birth year, but we also have Albert's general birth year. At any rate, I'm going to keep going just a little bit. We still don't know Johnny's exact birth date, but we do know that he was born in Illinois. So here we have the census. Let's go back and look at an actual birth record from Illinois. Now I'm going to mention at this point that there are records all across the country that have been destroyed through fire and through just different catastrophes. So if you don't come across something right away, you just have to keep looking. All right, so we know Johnny was born in Illinois and let's just put 1902 to 1903. Parents, I'm just gonna put the last name. Sometimes if you leave it general, if you have enough of the other details, it's actually more effective because indexing can be inaccurate. So for some reason, we don't have a birth record for Johnny. So I'm actually going to use his middle name first. Nope. So now at this point, I'm going to do as general a search as I possibly can. I'm not going to specify states. I'm not going to specify birth year. I'm not going to specify anything. I know that our Johnny was born around 1903. I know his parents' names. Okay. Now, this is important also. It's a good thing that we know Johnny's middle name because now here's a Stephen A. Jossets, which is not our Stephen Jossets. A totally general search actually brought up another census. And in this census, we actually see more of Johnny's family because it lists Albert's other children. At any rate, we know that we have Stephen here, who was born in Illinois, so that's verified. So at this point, we have Stephen's name, we have his birth city, and we have generally his birthday. I don't know if hospital records were damaged or if there was a fire at City Hall or what, but his actual birth certificate we haven't found. But on the census, it all lines up. The information is consistent. We also see a Rose and a Mary. He had two sisters. So what happened is Grandma found this information and contacted John's family. John, by the time she contacted them, had passed away, but she was able to get in touch with her aunts 
because she found their names. So the ants were able to tell us a little bit more. They absolutely knew who Grandma was and were thrilled that she'd made contact with them. And they were able to tell us family stories about Albert. The other thing that our ants are able to tell us is that Albert wasn't the only person in his family to immigrate to the U.S., but he had a brother named Stephen who immigrated to the U.S. So yes, Stephen is a family name, and that Stephen A. Jossitz was Albert's nephew or Johnny's cousin. So they shared names.